Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Today, we will review the last chapter of Grappler Baki, the Great Father and Son Quarrel Arc. It's the chapter where Hanma Yujiro declared Hanma Baki as the strongest being alive. Do you think the son of Ogre will accept this kind of victory? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts outside a certain hotel. The ogre Hanma Yujiro is currently inspecting his son Baki. He is thinking. The lower jawbone, fractured. His chin node, fractured. Mandibular ramus, fractured. There are several more cracks. Left orbital floor, fractured. Nasal bone, caved in. Upper jawbone, fractured. There are several more cracks. Both his front and back teeth. A large amount of teeth. Damaged. Some are lost. Both tympanic membrane. Were perforated. His cervical vertebrae. Were twisted left and right. Some, more than 30 degrees. His ribs were fractured in more than six places. Both his hands and wrist bones were undergoing a mild inflammation. Both of his legs were sprained and had a mild inflammation. And throughout his whole body, he was bleeding under his skin. His brain, his internal organs, at several places. Yujiro then said, this should be enough. That is enough. There is no need to continue. There don't have to be any more attacks. This is no longer a fight. You have done more than enough. Then the ogre leaves the area. The spectators then shouted. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was great. It was awesome. Thanks. Yujiro then thinks. This was a good night. It was fun. Then he became surprised. Because Hanma Baki is still trying to fight him. He then said. Well, isn't this a real surprise? Hey. I didn't expect that. As I am walking away. You kicked the side of my face. With nothing more than the desire of wanting to do it. With just his spirit, Hanma Baki is still fighting. Yujiro then whispered. Hmm. I get it. Then Dapo realized. With nothing but his fighting spirit. Even in that state, it doesn't weaken a bit. I can't bear to watch this any longer. The ogre continued. Heh. I understand. Baki. You have done enough. Then the strongest being did a cutting motion. The spectators then thinks. What is he? What? Then Yujiro showed them. A tofu? A large number of people who were there witnessed it. They most certainly saw it. What was in the hands of the strongest creature? And the skilled way of handling the ingredients. As well as how he stirred the pot. The skilled way he was chopping green onions. Look at his skill. What is going on? Even the smell of it started to travel. Do you smell it as well? Up until the very moment the food was ready to be served. Every one of the father's movement were perfect. Yujiro then said. I made this for you. So stand up. An empty space. There is a technique that will show an invisible wall. Carrying a total of zero kilos. There is a technique that will show the weight of heavy luggage. There are other techniques as well. Everyone who was part of the crowd could see it clearly. The tofu was being cut while being in his palm. The onion that was being sliced on the cutting board. The evil and strongest creature Hanma Yujiro was able to do such delicate tasks. And he really did it. He made a tofu miso soup. Whoa. This was completely unheard of. This was completely unprecedented. For the first time. The father and son is having an air supper. This kind of thing should be more than enough. Father. Yes, that is the way to do it, Baki. That is how you answer your good father. This image is almost heartwarming. This should be okay. To do this in a place like this. Yes. This location is fine. Kneeling. Cross-legged. I just woke up. So, let's eat. Yujiro then thinks. It is wrong. I thought that he would have learned how to do it from before. But it seems that it still hasn't turned out correctly. 
Ha! I am not at a restaurant. Whoa. Delicious. But a little salty. Heh. I guess never having eaten miso soup will do that. Well then. I do try to watch what I eat. But. Really. Don't be ridiculous. This is all imagination. It is all make-believe. Even the taste is all in your mind. That is right, isn't it? All of a sudden, the son of ogre flipped over the imaginary table. Yujiro then shouted. What the hell are you doing? What the hell? The crowd then commented. Whoa. He flipped over the table. Without any hesitation, the ogre tried to catch all of the utensils. However, the imaginary utensils suddenly disappeared in his hands. Baki then said. Father. That really saved me. Yujiro replied. You are in front of me. And yet, you think you were saved. Heh. But you were right. There is no denying it. The miso soup was indeed a bit too salty. I hate to admit it, but. For a second, even I believed in the fantasy. To believe in a lie. The news immediately reached everyone. The ogre was caught in the fantasy. He continued. It seems that this much has upset more than just me. But with flipping the table. You even caught me in the deception. The smallest amount of strength. It can be cultivated through selfish actions. It can be cultivated through the power of sheer will. I did both of them. And that allowed me to become what I am. But as of today, I can no longer be so selfish as to claim to be the strongest creature on this planet. Right here. The strongest creature on this earth has just received a new enemy. The spectators are really surprised shouting. He admitted it. The ogre has just approved him. Baki fought against the strongest and survived. Panma Baki is the strongest creature alive. Baki then said. In any fight, there is a moment of truth. To fight means you have to stand tall. Standing tall is all about the position of your head. The person standing taller will have his head elevated higher. Meaning that the person who is looking down on his opponent is the winner. It all became clear with father's words and actions. You were most definitely looking down at me. To the point that you even started to leave. At that time, I was killed. These are the undisputed facts. I truly lost. The crowd couldn't believe what they just heard. They just heard words of defeat coming from the strongest creature alive. He admitted it. The strongest creature alive just admitted defeat. What an awesome way to end it. Everything said by the strongest creatures alive were words of truth. Tonight was indeed exciting. Yet, the end was still the most surprising. The father let go of his title of the strongest and the son let go of his victory. Takigawa then shouted. The fight is over. The both of them fought with all they had and pushed themselves to their limits. The title of the strongest creature alive. He sure has a good aura around him. The father and child quarrel. Let's finish this. It ends here. This is the end of the great father and son fight. What do you think of this whole arc? Do you think the ending of the fight is satisfactory? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, L. Arshion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Hanma Baki vs. Atlas, the undefeated man. Stay tuned.